Andrew Huberman has a neuroplasticity super protocol. This is a combination of different protocols to learn anything faster, to acquire skills faster. How to do it according to science, to neuroscience. And uh, we're going to apply it to language learning. A lot of these principles are things that I was already doing um, after a lot of trial and error. Uh, I just came to the conclusion that that was the best way to do it. But also I've learned some interesting things that I'm applying now from his super protocol. So there, there are a list of, there's a list of things you should do. You find them in the description, but basically you should start by focusing. Yeah, getting alert and getting focused. And for this, you should take deep breaths and focus your eyes, uh, your eyesight somewhere on the wall, on a specific point and on a specific spot and take deep breaths. So first you take a few deep breaths. I normally do like 10 of them and that's enough. I'm not going to do it now because no one's watching me to uh, watch my breath, right? Uh, which may breathe, but um, yeah, you basically, I recommend you close your eyes, you take deep breaths, you look somewhere, a few seconds, so you engaged now. No phone, no social media, none of that, no notifications. This is really important because 10 minutes of focus, intensive work are worth hours of input, all right, of just casual practice or any of that stuff. So get alert, get focused, deep breaths. Yeah. Okay. Now, what should we actually do in the learning session? Generate as many repetitions as possible. It's another one of the principles. And for this, what we're going to do is take this list of the most common, uh, well, these are adjectives, but adjectives, verbs, verbs are super important. Nouns as well, but mostly verbs. And adjectives, and we'll review them as fast as we can. Yeah, this is Portuguese. So the idea would be, and this is why I recommend you learn speed reading, or you or you practice your reading speed, because uh, you will be able to generate a lot more repetitions in the same amount of time. So you jump, so you, you should focus your eyes at here and read the whole sentence in one go. Instead of, instead of doing this, yeah, focus, expand your vision, keep your eyes at here, L look at uh, uh, in the middle here and read the whole sentence as a whole instead of doing this. Yeah, same thing. Look at this and see the whole sentence. Expand your vision, see all the words. This is how you speed read. There's a lot more to it uh, than that, but this is how it looks like. Um, what it looks like. So you, yeah, you go, you should, you could use, uh, until you get good at it, you could also use, um, uh, what are those things called? Metronome, yeah. So you you get a beat and you your eyes should jump from one side to the other, yeah. I mean, I'm moving my head now because I'm, I'm distracted, I'm talking. Normally you get focused and then you do that. And you get as many reps, so you review as many sentences as possible, yeah? This is what it looks like. I'm, I'm going to do it for five seconds. And I can do it even faster. So this will allow you to review lots and lots and lots of content fast. It's uh, this is very good to acquire uh, grammar and vocabulary. Yeah, you learn all the grammar way. Uh, I've got grammar list as well that include all the grammar list of sentences that include basically all the grammar in the language. But this is for vocabulary. But also you learn grammar in context and all the vocab in context. You should also download an audio file of this and then listen to it while you do something else. So you get extra reps, but this should be put a timer on and do as many reps as possible. So that's another one of the principles. Another one of the principles, and this is very important, is uh, 
embrace mistakes. Make as many mistakes as possible with immediate feedback. And this is where retrieval practice comes in. This is not easy to do. People avoid it, but it's infinitely more effective than input. Retrieval practice means trying to retrieve the information. So you can't do it with sentences you haven't learned before. Yeah, You should first read the whole text a couple of times at least, and then you try to do it. So you should combine the two, speed reading and retrieval. And memorization with associations if the language is way too different and way too hard. But that's for another video. Um, retrieval practice is basically you look at the sentence and you try to say it in the language. Yeah. How do I say this? Try to say uh, novo. Ele comprou un carro novo semana pasada. Ele comprou un carro novo na semana pasada. Bom, yeah. You try to say it. Ela recebeu uma boa nota, and it's very difficult to do that. even even with easy languages. Even if you know the language, because you'll make some mistakes, or you maybe there are some words that I've never said great before in Portuguese. So. La recibe una buena nota, no seu examen, no examen. Yeah, you do this with all of them. It's difficult. It's it can be very frustrating. Uh, you try, you read it in, in your language or in English. You try to say it, check. Read the next one, try to say it, check. You do this with hundreds of sentences and very quickly uh, you'll be able to speak the language pretty well. You'll eliminate a lot of mistakes and you'll, your active vocabulary will increase dramatically because you're thinking, okay, how do I say... Uh, approach and you're like abordagem yeah i wouldn't have thought of that it's a lot of vocab that's difficult uh if you don't practice it like this so this too this are key yeah lots of reps and then uh retrieval practice there's another way of doing lots of reps which is more active which is reading them aloud. Outro. Ela teve que, teve que escolher outro vestido porque o primeiro não serviu. Novo. Ela comprou um carro novo na semana passada. Bom, ela recebeu uma boa nota no exame. Alta. A montanha, a montanha é muito alta e difícil de escalar. This is going to be much, much slower than speed reading, but it's also more active. You're training. It's a different exercise, right? This is more for your speaking. Speed reading is more for... Uh, vocabulary acquisition and your comprehension mostly. So each exercise has a purpose, but speed read, read aloud and retrieval practice, translation into the language. These three, do as many of them as you can, as fast as you can. That's that's the human super protocol, neuroplasticity super protocol applied to language learning. This is what we do in, in natural language learning. There are other protocols as well in the super protocol. Um, uh, intermittent rewards, random intermittent rewards. Honestly, I don't really know how to apply that to language learning. Um, I'm not going to stop feeding myself or giving myself treats or anything for learning randomly because maybe, maybe, maybe yeah, maybe there's some way. Let me know if there's some way of, of doing that. I'm going to try that, honestly. Uh, I try to stay focused, uh, not think of other things. Uh, then taking mini breaks, and this is interesting. I've done it, but not too consistently. This is, you take a mini break, 10 seconds where you close your eyes and apparently you, your neurons fire way faster. They fire fast? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm no neuroscientist. But you, yeah, you close, after reading them aloud over and over or, or doing retrieval practice or reading, speed, reading them with speed reading, you close your eyes and apparently you... Uh, your brain reviews everything you've been doing super fast. So you, every now and then, you stop and you take 10 seconds of doing nothing, 10, 20 seconds, and you review everything uh, with your eyes closed and then go back to learning. And then not learn uh, for too long. This is also important. 
short intensive sessions are way more effective than just uh, extensive casually like reading and watching videos and doing really casually and you check social media and then you you know no no super intensive super focused yeah an hour an hour and a half is enough a day if you work hard and then an sdr session at the end 10 minutes of rest give your brain some rest so that all the new information is you retain it properly and finally obviously get to the sleep and this is what you should do if you this is how you apply the human man neuroplasticity concepts to language learning. and these are not the only techniques you should do to learn a language efficiently but this the ones i just described are extremely efficient if you want to learn a language both if you want to improve your comprehension and also if you want to improve your speaking extremely effective for both 